we have uh, something that is unique to Pennsylvania, um, but it's also unique to America. And that is a farm bill focused on the needs of Pennsylvania agriculture. This farm bill looks like Pennsylvania, right? We're proud of it. Uh, it is urban and it's rural, it's Amish and it's English, it's Lehigh and it's Lawrence, right? It's the valleys, the Ohio and the Cumberland and Delaware and all the points in between. All of that is part of Pennsylvania. What we have in the farm bill is something we think is, is needed because of the uh, impact study we did, uh, but it's also born out of the stories that we have heard around the state of what is happening to agriculture, what the opportunities and challenges of this industry are. The majority of our soybeans uh, to the United States are, are organic soybeans are imported, 75%. 50% uh, of the corn uh, organically grown comes from outside the borders of the United States. Uh, we want to grow that in the U.S. and preferably in Pennsylvania. If we're going to be in the market, we're going to supply the market, uh, let's make sure that we give every opportunity to Pennsylvania uh, and Pennsylvania farmers that we can. And through this initiative with uh, Rodale uh, and the Farm Bill, we believe that we better position Pennsylvania to be a competitor. It's a natural progression for us to get involved in organics and what we're, what we're here today. We've been growing organic grains, small grains, because we, uh, we grow about 60,000 organic turkeys each year. And with the organic turkeys, you, you gotta bed them down with organic um, uh, straw. And it, whether it's rice straw or wheat straw, it's gotta be organic. And so we do that. So we have a certified organic farms, two farms that we, uh, we grow those grains each year. Today we're going to learn more about how a very forward-thinking, progressive government, uh, an innovative, privately held family business, and a mission-driven enterprise have come together to create increasing opportunities for agriculture uh, and for Pennsylvania farmers with the ultimate goal of making Pennsylvania the leading organic state. Pennsylvania is now the number two producer of organic food in the nation, second only to California. And under the leadership of, our, of Governor Wolf and Secretary Redding, we uh, are embarking on a plan that would help uh, make Pennsylvania become the leading organic state, which is very exciting. Pennsylvania is really the birthplace of organic agriculture. It literally started right here in the Lehigh Valley at Rodale Institute about a little over 70 years ago when our founder, G.I. Rodale, wrote some words on a blackboard. He said, healthy soil equals healthy food equals healthy people. And in doing that, he really linked the future of agriculture to the health of our soil. We're trying to put more support into farmers so that they're simply not looking at uh, not using pesticides. Organic is really a whole new way of farming. It's a holistic approach. We're focused on regenerating the health of the soil using tools that may be unfamiliar to many of the farmers in the state. That, farm, that means that farmers need some education, they need some mentorship, they need some one-on-one -on -one coaching, and they need some invite, advice to make that transition possible. A lot of activity here, but I uh, really appreciate uh, having the opportunity to come out and talk with the Farm Bill and, and your willingness to uh, engage in this pilot discussion around. So we partnered with the Team Pennsylvania Foundation uh, to uh, look at agriculture, what is it the size and scale uh, of the industry. Uh, and to well, thank you to all. By Rodale Institute, this service stands on years of experience through research and education and is designed to support farmers on the ground to ensure their success. We want farm process and move more farms and more farmers to being certified organic. This initiative will benefit all of Pennsylvania citizens, not just farmers. We all benefit when farms are successful, as again, Secretary Ray. And all this shows once again that Pennsylvania truly is the Keystone State, making great progress. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate you being here to hear about this.
Jake, are we going to be able to go out that way, or should we turn around? Any questions at all? 